Welcome to the stream. Thanks for clicking if you're watching later on YouTube. Hope you're enjoying. Alright. Yeah, so it's motorcycle time. But first... I need to go get a sword for this kid. <laughs> One thing I will do before I leave here. As always. So I marked uh, where the minor test of strength things are. And uh, one of them should give me the sword I'm after. So let's see, the closest one is in Farron, but otherwise there is the bridge. And then I guess these are like worst case scenarios. Wait, you have to buy thousand dollar sword just for a diamond? Which sword do you have to buy? Oh, the... The ancient sword? Well, I mean, it's fine. It's gonna come in handy anyway. Consider it getting a refund, a rebate. It's a rebate, a sword rebate. Yeah, once I deliver the next sword, I'll, uh, yeah. I'll head to the, the plateau. And we can get this nightmare started. I know what's ahead of me. Do I... Do, what, do we have menards? No. I mean, is, aren't rebates supposed to genuinely be sort of a pain to do anyway? Wait, where am I? Oh, right, I see. I thought I'd cross another bridge. Have you ever seen Nathan for You? TV show, it's a great TV show, but there's an episode where... Uh, he partners with a, a gas station. And so he wants... To help them to get people to, uh, to turn up, you know, to this gas station. So they come up with an idea of, uh, a rebate. Pretty much making it the cheapest petrol in town after a rebate. But so, you know, the petrol is advertised as being really cheap, but then they point out it's after rebate. And the rebate, the place to go submit the rebate is only in written form. And you have to go hike a mountain and put it in this box at the top of the mountain. So a bunch of people turn up, you know, wanting to claim the rebate. And the whole bit is just seeing how long, you know, these people will go... What they'll go through and what they'll uh, be patient enough for to try and get this rebate. And the rebate is only to save like $5 or something. And they... They basically spend a day with Nathan. Just... The lengths they'll go to just to save $5. So the entire time Nathan is, is trying to make sure that they don't redeem the rebate. Uh, I mean, I could walk there, but... It's probably quicker to walk there. Alright. Boyfriend bought a chest razor and had to print two different forms and mail them in. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where... It's like, they do... Whatever they can to make it a pain in the ass. And then it's just like, well... You know, you can get the rebate if you go through all this process. It's not false advertising at all. It's, it's like... You know, you can get it for the price that we're talking about. You just have to put in some effort. That does- I don't think that flies here. Like, here, you can't... 
It's one of those things where it's like, um, here it'd be still classified as misleading the customer, because it's, it's just, which, yeah, we have a consumer body that protects people. So the government would, like, slap them on the wrist for that. But you can't do stuff that is is technically correct, but is misleading. So an example is um, two of Australia's major cell providers, for a while, they had this, um, this cell plan that they were advertising as, you know, unlimited data. And the fine print said unlimited up to 40 gigabyte. So it's like, you can use all you want up to 40 gigabyte. And it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, technically you're correct. But it was misleading, so both companies got fined and then they had to pull the advertising and all that stuff, so... The rebate system, you can't do that kind of shit where it's like, you have to make it a big hassle to do it. It has to be a straightforward process. So yeah, it's one of the things we get right here is just like the, the consumer protection stuff. It's, it's gold standard. Hey, Seth, what's up? Yeah, this is, a, this is a minor detour. It's just getting a sword for a kid that has no business in having that much money or that much of an interest. I need a waffle maker. Yeah, but the, the thing is, um,. I would have to make the batter myself because, it, unlike over there, uh, I assume you can get waffle batter pretty easily. Whereas in here, it's it's just not a thing. No one really has waffles. I mean, could probably get pancake mix, but is that the same thing? You have to use pancake batter. Oh, I thought it was like a different batter. See, this is how. This is how little I know of waffles, because they're just not a thing here. They're not... yeah, it's not uh, a huge deal. I mean, I'm sure people have waffles and there's waffle makers, but... You go to breakfast places, it's like pancakes are the more common one. I had... I had waffles once, and that was at an American place that did the chicken and waffle combo, which was good. It was just pretty good. Yeah, outside of that, I've, I've never really had it. You know, as, a, as a home thing. I've had pancakes plenty of time, never waffles. If I was more into breakfast, I feel like it'd be a good a good buy, but breakfast to me is just one of those things where I only have it if I'm having I'm gonna have like a big day. It's just it's one of those things that helps get me going, but other than that, or at least keeps me going, if that makes sense. Like this morning. Um got up, went and had breakfast and then played this for a while because it was still miserable outside. <laughs> Trying to decide with a play between now and tears. I mean, just pick up something casual that you can just drop. used to drink raw pancake batter before going to class. I mean, I guess it's along the same lines of people that enjoy raw cookie dough, but don't they discourage it? Isn't that one of those things that's just like, hmm, questionable? Wait, where's the shrine? Should be directly on top of it. Ah, there it is. Okay, uh... It's clobbering time. 
Hopefully this is the one with the sword. Pretty sure it's safe. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just hearing. Isn't it? But it's the, if it had, it's not the raw flour. I thought it was the egg mix. That, that's the bad part. It's like. Well, just because someone lives doesn't mean that it, it's safe, right? Like, you know, I could light myself on fire and survive, but that doesn't mean it's, it's safe. <laughs> it doesn't change the fact that still not the best idea, but if you survive it, sure. It's the flower? Yeah, I guess so. But see, it's, yeah, it's, it's the same, it's the same reason. It's like, the eggs is the same reason as the flour. It's salmonella concerns at the end of the day, and you can get that from flour. Well, E. coli. I don't know, I can't remember which one. Okay, uh, yeah, I mean, I saved, right? As long as this one has a sword, I'm good. It has a sword, excellent. This is this is ready to to break anyway. Yeah. All right. That's all I came here for. Now to go back to the kid. This is this is quite the quest. But I mean, he's giving me 300 per weapon now, so... Okay, uh... Oh, I can delete the pin. Just so it doesn't cause any confusion later. Okay. Diablo 2 also has its, uh, its latest ladder, which I've been tempted to play, but I just don't have the time right now. Look at all the shrooms. I got this one at the very least. Boy, across. I bel I don't believe that that kid has a grandparent that's giving him this much money just to see weapons. I don't know. 
that's got to be another another reason why he has that much money. Grandparent died and left him money. That might make sense. But to, to spend on just seeing weapons, I don't know. cool with the DLC if some of the the bosses that you fight the new ones would have been just something that you could fight anytime like seeing bigger taluses and um, the Mulduga just having that instead of it being kind of just the event thing oh this is not good I'm lucky if I didn't get spat on. It is my pleasure. I got tongued though. He says his grandfather left him money to get to the person who teaches him how to fight, and the kid says close enough. It's not close enough. He's just observing. Not even observing fighting, he's just pulling out a weapon. But doesn't he say grand grandpa's gonna flip when he's when he hears this? Like his response is grandpa's gonna l let's watch his response when I show him. I didn't think it was implied that the grandfather was dead. Cause the I, I'm pretty sure he says, um, just wait till Gramps hears about this. I don't know. Is, is this one of these moments where... Let's see. Let's confirm me right. Is the grandparent dead? I don't know, that's that's a weird thing for a kid to be said. That's it's a little kid. <laughs> when they reunite. Let me look up this quest. Master of Weapons, Breath of the Wild. Quest. The weapon console, sorry. Okay. What's the backstory with Neb? Hold on, I'm going the wrong way. Oh wait, it's an ancient sword. Hang on. No, this is a guardian sword. Oh shit, it's the wrong thing. Okay, well, this is, I, I guess, whatever. I have to go to Akala, but hang on. Yeah, but what's, I want, I want the backstory to this. Hold on. The weapon kind of saw. This is what I want to see. I want to know the backstory to it. People talk about the, uh, what to do in the quest itself. I oh, know, yeah, explicitly said he died. Okay. That's so weird. Why, why would a child that young be saying, you know, when we... 
when we reunite. That's. <laughs> Damn, that child is thinking about uh, some deep shit. What kind of child talks like that? Doesn't the one reader kid do the same? I don't know. No idea. Okay, I guess we're taking a... I, it's fine to take a trip to Akala anyway, because, hey, we'll get a good sword out of it, and it's probably going to pay off to do that anyway. Since I, I have to, uh, yeah... Fine. We're gonna do fighting with it anyway, so I think it's a good idea. I thought it was just a guardian sword. Well, good news is this is the last one, so won't have to make that trip again. But the even better news that I'm hoping will work out, we might run into our old friend. Assuming he's still around, I don't know. We'll see, huh? See, all right, there's another, there's another example of a child that lost their parent, like Kotla, not Kotla. The other one, the other child in the Kakariko village, I forget her name. But she still talks like a child, but that, you know, at least has the aspiration to be like her deceased mother. Sure has uh, a lot of a lot of children. That's <laughs> just they're a bit sad. Disappointing. The tree is is empty. It's all right. We're going past the Kala, so get another chance to meet up with our old friend. got slaughtered and then the kids were thrown to be killed as well. Yeah. Because of Yiga. And so the the father had to like uh yeah. If you swing at the stable guard he will knock you back. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like one of those little things. 
I don't know a pine will attack would attack enemies. A pine attacks enemies. Little ones anyway. I also didn't know that if you drop ingredients into the water, fish of the ingredient type will, will try to eat it. So like if you want stamina fish, you just drop a stamina food item in the water. those immersion things. There are a lot of hints in the loading screen. Ah. I don't read them. <laughs> Even if they popped up. It's just... I just see it as a loading screen. It's just white noise. Lighting screen or a tablet light to introduce mechanics. Yeah. The bait would have been good as a side quest. I mean, if you look at Twilight Princess, for example, it, it introduces you to fishing in the opening sequence of the game. Just whilst you're in um, your village. Just introduces all the little things you can do in the game. That's why Twilight Princess is, is a great game. Just the onboarding for it is good, and it doesn't feel too cumbersome, like too much of a tutorial. They really did the uh, the help system in that game well. Between just the starting area and also the fact that uh yeah, <laughs> it's not help. It's not that. Maidna is just amazing. She is great. Just here to do one thing. <laughs> Just one thing very quickly.
We call it the reward increase every time you save them, just an escalating reward, but it's not. It's just... Oh, hold on, I gotta... Swap out and make sure. Why? What was here? Do, do you see anything that would have made the horse stop moving? Anything? Anything at all? No? Game is just being an asshole? Okay. Ah, oh, nearly, nearly there, nearly there, just a little bit longer, and then no more horse. Sad, didn't run into our friend. Just... Okay, apparently just decided not to stick to the road, that's cool. Not sure why. journey. to the night. <laughs> I suppose I can turn that off.
A uh, thanks, Control Drift. Um. Okay, hold on. What's a valid target? This is probably a good one to have, the big one. Let's target with that with the sensor. Did that just fall on its own? Okay. Oh, shit. Can I sell you stuff? I'll be back. Forgot I was out of money. Oh no, yeah, controls see that? See that? I'm not I'm not pressing a button right now. I'm not I'm not touching anything. I'm not touching anything right now. Controller controller is on the desk. Hands are up in the air right now. Yeah, oh, let's stop oh oh. Yep. Not a widespread issue, this this controller drift thing. Not a widespread issue at all. Just nothing but quality. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. what I was looking for. I may need to get a replacement kit for these. Honestly. Sometimes it's fine, but then... It'll start doing things like, uh... Like right now. That's not me going to the left, that's the controller deciding, oh! No, your input hasn't finished, you're going to the left. This is really bad. I'm not touching the controller right now. Wow, that's bad. What is going on? Why, why is this being weird? Okay, hold on. This is, this is problematic. Do you want to talk about controller drift? Yep, so this is not me move. Yep, 
Okay, no, I got a problem. <laughs> Why is it being so bad all of a sudden? Okay, hold on, chat. Let's try just reconnecting this. Sorry, I just... Nope. Uh, if I'm going to be doing fighting and the controller is just constantly going to the left, that's going to be a problem. I'm not, uh, this is me not pressing it. This is insane. Like it's a full, it's a full shift to the, to the left. Do I have compressed air? Yeah, I do. I might need to go do it. This is really bad. Like, look, look at this. I, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not pressing a button. I'm not, like, all right, this is me pressing up. I'm going to release the controller now. Releasing controller. This is me. Banging the desk with two hands. Still... Constantly moving to the left. Okay, I'm gonna have to do something about this. Or, uh... I could probably get my PS4 controller and hook it up temporarily. But this is- this is basically unusable. Give me a sec, chat. I'm gonna go get the compressed air. I mean, it's a little better, it's still... Alright, let me give it another blast, hold on. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, me push, pushing it to the right. That's why I was walking right. I might have to go, uh get the PS4 controller out and use it instead, because this is fucking horrendous. I'll give it one more blast if it doesn't fix it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go get the PS4 controller. Or dare I say, play with Joy-Cons. Wow, this is- this is so fucked. And yet they, uh... Hang on, this is me doing this, don't worry. It's not on, on its own. Yep. They have the audacity to say that drifting in Nintendo controllers is not a widespread issue. I'm not- I'm not pressing a single button right now. Wow. 
What happened? Like, I was using this earlier and it was perfectly fine. Okay, so I don't delay the stream. I'm gonna use Joy-Cons. So... Yeah. But, uh, next time I'm using my PS4 controller. Man. I'm so annoyed. Okay. I might have to just crack it open and see, but otherwise I, I may have to order one of these Hall Effect kits. Because that is just, it's unacceptable. Anyway, sorry about that technical issue. I know it's not the most fun thing to see. I've been using this controller the entire playthrough, and now, I don't know. Uh, now it decides to do that. Unbelievably annoying. I'm getting rid of the storm. Oh shit, that's yeah, fine. Oh. Yeah, then the game has the audacity to rain, I know, right? It's of, of course, this starts happening the moment I get up to... Oh. I get up to the part where I want to fight, you know? Probably one of the, the harder things to do, and then the controller's like, no. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to order one of these kits to put Hall Effect sticks in. Especially- Shit, Tears of the King- Fu- ah. Yeah, I don't know if it'll arrive in time. Alright, I'll have to order it after the stream. It's un- it's unlikely, but we'll see. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to use my PS4 controller. That's just it. It's not really much I can do. I just, I don't find the Joy-Cons comfortable. I just hate their analog stick. That's the, that's the worst it's been. Usually it only drifts for like a second or two, but that was like, it was, it was as if I was holding down left and walking hard left. That's how bad it got. Riding horse, I'm gonna look up these kits. Hall effect kits. Switch pro. I mean, how hard is it to do this? Hopefully, it's not too difficult. 
I've cracked open my Joy-Cons before. I want the actual... Hold on. Sorry, chat. I know this is annoying. Oh, they only have sensor. Hang on. Compatibility on this. Um, I'm gonna have to do more research on that because it doesn't look like there's one specifically for the Pro Controller. It's okay, I have one of these uh, adapters that'll let me hook up a PS4 controller to the Switch, so worst comes to worst, that's just how I'll have to play Tears of the Kingdom if I can't resolve this. We'll move on from that, those thoughts, <laughs> now. Let's just continue playing. And try and have a good time and not, not just think back to, yeah, I mean, I have a control, I have a controller that's older than me and it's perfectly fine. But I guess in the context of analog sticks, the PS1 controllers I have are perfectly fine. The GameCube controllers I have are perfectly fine. None of them have exhibited anything remotely close to this. This thing, like, one year out, not even one year out the gate, it was doing this shit. <laughs> Mad Cats had drift. Okay, your one had drift, Mad Cats. My one didn't. I mean, my PS1 controller did it, not Mad Cats. But see, at, at least with that, you could just chalk it up to, well, yeah, Mad Cats, alright? You wouldn't feel as bad, but this is just Nintendo's premium controller. I know. If I want, if I want to play Tears of the Kingdom, why don't I get the Tears of the Kingdom Pro Controller? Give another hundred and nine dollars. Play it in style. It's okay. Surely the new controller I get won't suffer the same fate. I'm glad I didn't go with the Pro Controller again. Yeah, I I can't recommend the Switch Pro Controller. It feels good in the hands, but the D-pad is horrendous, and, well, my experience with it, let's just say, has not been great, as you can see. It's okay. The deep pad was bad. Yeah, I I re I only realized the deep pad was bad when I played Tetris on the thing. The amount of times I would accidentally do a drop because it was registering a down input or an, no an up input. My bad, an up input, not a down input. But same thing. 
At least the three, you know, the 360 um, D-pad, it's uncomfortable, but it, it's functional. You can get an accurate input on it. This is just, it's not, it's no good. The D-pad's no good. They should just go back to the Super... I, I keep saying this. The Super Nintendo D-pad was like... Peak Nintendo D-pad. Why change a good thing just because you need to change the design? Just keep it. You got it right. Like, 30 years ago, almost. Switch light deep had a surprisingly amazing. I have heard, I have heard that, yeah. Well, for me, my go to D pad whenever I need to play a game with good D pad, it's my Super Nintendo controller. Here for uh, the big radish. Just replenishing my stock. your pointer. <laughs> Look at a pointer in the background, trying to figure it out. Oh my god! All right, let's go. I like the touchpad on the PS5 controller was satisfying in Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, for the win thing? Yeah, I mean, games that use it well. It's a nice little feature. So that's the thing. It's, I, I appreciate that. You know, you use it when it makes sense and not for the sake of using it. I might turn this off, like, I don't really have that much of an interest. Uh, Shika Sensor. How do you change it back? Change target. How do you turn that off? Oh, there. Yeah, it's not gonna... It's okay. I mean, putting on shrines is basically off at this point as well, so it's okay. It's never gonna beep, I have all the shots. I missed the, the down input there. Yeah. 
The people that make those replacement kits have a controller, but they're not selling them in Australia, so... Final delivery for this kid, and then can leave it behind. And then we can go fight. Yeah. I'm still lurky blowing the controller with um, compressed air. I don't think it's going to do it any good. I think it. It may have truly well just, uh, died on me. Yeah. I mean, okay, here's the thing. The controller is... I don't think it excuses it. But it is, like, as old as my original Switch, which is, like, six years old. So that, that grain of salt there. However, it's just... I, I point to the other controllers that I have in, in this room that are like 20 years old and they're still fine. get it. Sometimes the horse jumps over little stones like that, and then other times it doesn't. It just stops in its tracks. Huh. It's because of all the recycled materials. <laughs> They're just weaker. Ah, that's it. Fuck the environment. Just... Huh. Uh, hello, is it Twitch yet? Hang on. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep blowing compressed air into this thing. I feel like I'm trying to resuscitate my controller. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to be feasible for me to get one of these kits, because it doesn't look like there's one specific for the Pro Controller. There's a Joy-Con one, but I'm not having Joy-Con problems, and I don't want to use Joy-Cons, so just, they're not good. Yeah. Am I really going to cave and buy another Pro Controller? Man... The problem is I can't just get a controller that I, I know will work better and put it on the Switch. It's not incompatible. So it's, it's pretty much my only other option is just, well, replace the controller. It had a good run. It's six years. What, you want it to last 20 years? Why not the 8-bit do? Because... Two of my 8-bit 2 controllers end up with a worse fate, and that is, like, sticky buttons. That is why not 8-bit 2.
And that's that's another one of those like widespread issues. I have some 8-bit do controllers sitting here actually. But I could very well swap in, but it's just it's just same problem. Just go have a look at um people that have had 8-bit do controllers for years and the kind of issues they get. And that is why I will say no 8-bit do. Or do, however you say it. Can I start up? Nope. <laughs> Not skilled. If I'm going to attempt to do that, I may as well just go out and buy the controller right now. <laughs> just cut the middleman out. raining again. So the kids don't play. There we go. Sorry, it's just another level that my gameplay is just getting harder and harder. Okay. Gramps will flip when he hears, I saw this. Thank you, now take this as- That is, yeah. That was from my grandpa, he always said give it to the one who show you the real deal. But don't worry about it. I'm sure my grandpa is super happy where he is. Yeah, that's it. Man. I mean, it gives you a diamond because can't give you a single item that's worth 500, so they give you the diamond. Alright, but we're done with that kid now. Okay, we're heading to the Great Plateau and we're getting the start of... Damn it, Epona. <laughs> so, oh, Alright. Off we go. Maybe he visits his grandpa's grave and talks to so, him. Yeah, it's still very sad. I mean... I guess I wasn't paying enough attention to that quest. I thought the grandfather was still alive. Just based on that message, I thought, oh yeah, talk to grandfather. Did not uh, appreciate the gravity of the situation. Seeing my issues affected the SN30 controller from what you found online. Mm, maybe, but it's enough to put me off. I mean, the thing is, it might be that model of controller, but I would imagine it still comes from the same supplier, their parts and stuff. So I just left the bad taste in my mouth that two of them did that. So I'm not willing to trust them on a third one. Let's put it that way. And some of the some of the controllers might be newer and might not be old enough yet to experience what I'm experiencing. Okay. 
It's already enough for me not to trust it. Much like this here is like, I'm already having reservations about it. And we'll probably just use my PS4 controller and just deal with deal with the fact that it's not a it's not a one-to-one -one button mapping, but at least uh, the comfortable controller will be there. to stop here for a minute because I don't think there's one of these in the Great Plateau um okay yeah this, we have to kind of go all out on this one probably commit to making the half hour one but it's okay making so much of these just because I just feel like I'm gonna need need it all right let me look at my food sources I have cold resist I have fire I have defense I have stamina Okay, that seems good to me. All right, let's roll. All right, so I looked at the comp the compatibility of these analog stick replacements, and it's not for the Pro Controller. So no, there's no fixing this controller. I can fix Joy Cons, just not this particular controller. So my options are use the PS4 controller or just. Get another pro controller. The only thing I don't like about the pro controller is just the feel of the D-pad, that's it. But I, I have my solution for the D-pad. The analog sticks and everything else is fine. The other thing I didn't like about 8-Bit Do was the analog sticks felt weird to me. I don't know why. On the controllers I tried, granted. But it's 
Am I really- am I willing to roll the dice for analog sticks? Because I wouldn't be getting them for their D-pads, let's put it that way. I have my con my go-to for D-pad control. try it because I've been also another thing they recommend is just cleaning the edge of it and I clean the edges so we'll see I'll try it once more when we get to the great plateau but yeah I, I, I'm thinking this thing is gone oh what's that you need to climb <laughs> No, it says to clean, not the rubber part, but like the edge of the... So you kind of pull the analog stick to the right, and then you clean the left edge, and then you pull the analog stick to the left, and you clean the right edge. Not the actual, uh, the cap itself. It was, no, but it wasn't the, I don't know, I don't know, it was just the traction of the analog stick fell off. It, wa it wasn't the rubber part, it was more the, the traction, it just felt weird. I don't know how else to describe it, like, the resistance just didn't feel correct. If that makes sense. It kind of felt like what a Joy-Con does. I just don't like the feel of the Joy-Con. It just feels flimsy. That's what it felt to me. I need- I need to- I can't believe this. I need to climb- every time I need to climb this happens. Trying to find the spot that I used to get up last time. Oh no, there it is. It's up ahead. That's the spot I climbed up from. Because it's nice and high and there's a... There we go. Pretty much lines up. This is gonna be a quite a lengthy thing, so we'll see. Oh, there is a pot here. Okay. It's not guarded either. Still, it was easy to just cook over there. It's one of those things where I guess I don't wanna like have people that like 8-bit do controls be like they're fine. I'm talking from the experience I had with the ones I purchased and that's that negative experience is enough to not want to make me roll the dice again a third time. That's all. And I'm sure like enough people will say well they're fine. And they might be but it's just those two experiences have uh yeah made me adverse to trying their stuff again. Whereas in, I could, this could very well be that this controller is just a defect. It's like, 
you know, day one pro controller. It's within the possibility that it could just be unlucky. But anyway. To the brave soul who wishes to master a divine beast, you have done well to return to this place of beginnings. You have overcome many challenges thus far. Now allow me to bestow upon you one final trial. Return the Sheikah Slate to the terminal you first obtained it from. And uh, do so and the final passageway will reveal itself. Okay. First, let me... Oh, the Blood Moon, okay. Because I'm a glutton for punishment. I don't know if that was a glitch moon or a genuine blood moon. Okay, let's try it. I've cleaned it. I've used compressed air on it. Let's see. Nope. Still fucked. Still pulling to the left. Completely pulling to the left. Alright, I give up. Anything short of cracking the thing open and just cleaning it properly, it's just, it's, it's a no-go. I am pretty annoyed, but oh well, we'll deal with it. Especially now, because I have to do a combat part, so I'm not going to be as uh, comfortable doing this, but whatever. All right, wish me luck. This was pretty cool though. I like the dungeon aspect, not so much what's waiting for me after the fact. <laughs> yeah, it has to fill this duty as Sambas peacefully. Yeah, I wish I could use it. Welcome, hero. You have overcome many trials to reach me. Now is the time to face the final trial. This trial is, compl is a complex labyrinth. To start, you'll need a map. Even for the DLC, they just didn't stray away from this. You may obtain a map information from the Guidance Stone. I think that was the problem, just... By the time you got to this, everything just felt the same. Good. Music's good though. It's like a it's a remix of 
the shrine music. I do like it. We'll see how this goes. I mean, shit. The next thing is the Master Sword. Okay. Again, the four chambers. Okay. Anyway, thanks for indulging me, everyone. I know, like, <laughs> it's, it's not the greatest thing to hear someone complain about stuff, but I hope you understand just how frustrating it is. The Gully Kit controller looks great. It does, it just doesn't ship to Australia, and to get it here, it's like almost $200. It does look great, but then they don't have uh, someone or a partner in Australia yet, so it's out of the question. Um, I don't think I can do this one yet. Maybe I can. I think this has a particular order. Hold on, let's see. No, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, no, it does. Okay. This isn't moving at all. Should be. Let's just assume that's correct. It must suck living on an island in the middle of an ocean surrounded by sharks. Not really. The sharks keeps everyone out. See it as an advantage. And if the sharks were to develop an ability to be able to traverse land, then yeah. Be a little problematic. But they're in the ocean, they're defending our borders. <laughs> they're in the oceans for now. I mean, there's the episode of The Simpsons where the dolphins uh, take over. this is supposed to work. Oh, yeah. I see.
Whoops. I think I need to stop time and lock it in. I find it weird that you can't climb the, s the surface. This doesn't work. What am I trying to do here? That clearly did not work. I'm overcomplicating it. I'm trying to get them to lock together. It just doesn't work that way. See, the, this has to align. Otherwise, this doesn't work. How do I fix this? Stops both of them. But isn't that just going to go back to the same spot again? This isn't going to change anything. Yeah, so, okay. What's the gimmick here? How do I keep moving this? Okay, see, so I ascertained that much, so now this is on the ground. Sure. I mean, does it have to stay fixed? I don't know. Maybe I don't have to make it work. Maybe this is enough. I mean, I'll leave it like this. Maybe this is fine. We'll see. What? Okay. 
Okay, we need to apply a defense buff. Good timing. Okay, it's only two hits. Oh, you can't ravioli in here. No ravioli allowed. Should just be able to ride this, though. Thing. Hold on. Should be. This is just an awkward angle. Game, please! <laughs> Get in. Okay, and then, come on. Am I imagining this, or doesn't this go here? Cause that's where I pulled it out of, so... Or is this just... Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, you can do all the sexual innuendo you want. That's fine. <laughs> that should not have been that hard. Okay. up again.
loved that effect there. I mean, this is me not up to my combat standards because, yeah. I'm not using control that I'm comfortable with. Swallow bow. Okay, hold on. Don't think I have this one. No, I do. Okay. See, and then you got up. No? Oh, that's pulling. It's not pushing. Both of them, that's interesting. How do I climb higher, though? I'm missing something. What am I missing? It gave me a bow, so let's just think about this for a sec. If it gave me a bow, wouldn't it stand to reason there'd be something to shoot? I don't see anything. I want to get up there, but I, I can't. And this doesn't work, because I get pulled into it. Hmm. Am I complicating this? Yeah, I'm complicating this. Okay, what the fuck do I do here then? There has to be something else I can do. This is a bit of a complicated mess. I'm trying too hard now. This is where I wanted to go. This is so stupid what I'm trying, but... It's effectively win the stasis lottery. <laughs> See what I mean? I'm 
This is not how you do it. But I'm gonna try. This is not how I'm supposed to do this. <laughs> Definitely not how I'm supposed to do this, but I'll take it. I'm sure I'm sure there was there was a well thought out solution. I'm sure there was a way to achieve what I just achieved there and do the intended puzzle, but... No. Oh, shit. We're one level higher now, are we? So funny. I'm just I'm just a vandal when it comes to playing games. Yeah, that looks safe to me. Maybe I have to do one of these normally. Yeah, let me just watch this for a minute. It needs to go the other way. How do I make this go the other way? So I don't think I can do this this way. It has to go the other way. Because if I get on here, it's just gonna close off my... Yeah. It's not gonna work. Okay. I don't think there's any way to get out of this one. This one I have to figure out. Oh shit. Push me off. I'm gonna laugh if I do have to resolve the others just to get this done. Like I'm just delaying. See what other ones are available because it's just head the left room. I need a gear for that one.
got to be something I overlooked. Oh, wait a minute. I think I got it. Okay, this one I think I got. Okay, that was straightforward. I saw the color of electricity. Should I be concerned? Interesting. That's enough to do anything. What am I looking at here? Okay, that. Okay, all well this. Right. Um, let me save. Unfortunately, the weapon's gone, but it's all right. Wow, that is, uh, I wouldn't call that comparable. Far from comparable. <laughs> I think this is the first one I'm going to do legitimately. Definitely the first one I've done legit. Ok, 
Okay, now to solve that last one. Hmm. Wait, you're basically Spider-Man with no explanation in this game. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. No explanation required. There's gonna be an even bigger threat out here now. Why am I waiting for it here? Mm hmm. Hey, Hypercurvy. I need to get up there and deal with that. I don't want that getting in the way. Alright, so this is the last one to solve. Wait a minute. Does that affect it? Let's see. Shouldn't. All I can think of is just how to get this to go the other way. Because, yeah, this does not work for me if it goes this way. Possible cheese scenario. <laughs> I doubt it. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe... Maybe this is fine. Oh, wow, okay. This was easy. Except that part. Okay, hang on. I need to use stop time. Oh, 
we go. This should just be self-fulfilling, right? I need to make this change direction somehow. Otherwise it's just gonna go back out the way it came. Hang on, how the fuck does this work? No, 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 no. Okay, hang on. No. Okay, I got it. Wait, no, I don't. What? I thought that would be the answer. Wait for it to be at peak, and then it, it kind of just uses momentum. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, the thing that I'm missing is how to get this to change direction. Assuming it can. I thought I was being smart getting over here, but now it's just, well... Maybe I have to stop the ball instead? Hang on. That really doesn't help the situation, does it? The ball kind of just gets forced along no matter what. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to go have a look. Huh? Hey, Lola guy, thanks for the bits. How's it going? This one's stomping me a little. Now I gotta navigate across this. Ugh. At least I can get back there easy. Okay, what am I missing? There's something I'm missing clearly. Something that flips the direction of this. No! I'm close, I just gotta figure this out. Okay, this should hopefully be safe to stand on.
gonna try and get up here. Okay. Is there anything here that would hint a direction change? how that's supposed to work. Um, hmm. Okay. I don't know how to switch the direction of the rotation. That's the missing part. this. That didn't change the rotation, did it? This cog has got to be going the other way around. There's got to be a way to change the rotation. I just haven't seen it yet. Let me have a look around. Oops. If none of the parts outside are affecting it, because I disconnected both and still going in the same direction and I had them both connected. So how do you change the rotation? There has to be a simple answer to this. It's almost certainly like it comes from outside. gonna be something minor that I've overlooked. What is it? Does this affect it? Yeah, I wanna see. Does it affect rotation or does it stop it? It stops it. Okay. I've probably gone past it a million times. Let me reconnect the obvious pieces. it has some arbitrary effect. I don't know. Okay, here it 
comes. Just in case. It almost seems like this one could dictate the direction, but... if there's anything else I can do. <laughs> this is a headache because it's something so small and I'm going to hate the answer. Rehook this up. Imagine it's the room I skipped, though. No, but see, you need to be able to turn that at free will. This is the part that I don't get. There's no other control that I can see that would make a change. What am I missing? <laughs> Is there something in the initial room maybe? I would have seen that if there was something in the initial room. It can't be a room I skipped because then it'd be too much of a pain in the ass to make it swap direction. Like, it has to be something simple. Stops the whole thing. I'm trying little things. to look us up, but this is driving me nuts now.
minor. It has to be something minor. Checking this room. Ugh. This is going to make people scream internally that know the answer to this. Maybe it's this room that changes the fate of it. what else it would be. Still going the other way. Oh, wait a minute. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a moron. I just figured out what it is. I'm a moron. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Gee, how do you make it spin the other way? How about you make it just spin the other way? Fucking idiot. <laughs> but it's true, it's the, no the longer something takes, the more likely the answer is minor and stupid and you're gonna hate yourself. Okay. Which means the other puzzles I definitely cheesed because it was supposed to involve the rotation. I did most of them without touching the rotation once. So as impressive as that is. <laughs> oh, man. What the... Thank you. Okay, hold on. Go the other way. How many of you knew the answer? Ugh, I bet. A couple. For some reason, I thought it was like a, a mechanism on the bike itself. Anyway. Nice. Well done. Three hours later.
I do find it funny though that I uh <laughs> I did the others without rotating once. Especially the one with the fan, that I gotta say that that was impressive. Cause that one was a hundred percent a rotation thing. I just needed to make it rotate the other way to align them. But I didn't and just jumped off the fan. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I apologize profusely for that that effort. Blame my pro controller that is just sitting on my desk next to, next to me. Every now and then I'm reminded of just the broken state that it's in. on the paint. I don't have the pre-buff here. It's fine. Proven to possess the power of a true hero. But enough talk. <laughs> Have at you. In the name of the goddess Hylia. The clenched fist should be me. I offer this final trial. All right, I'm ready. Hot music. Let us begin. I'm going to fail a lot of times at this. Okay. Oh, this is going to be hard to take a photo of. Got it. Okay. Not good. Wow, I'm already down two weapons. Oh, my God. 
damn it. Yeah, so... Okay. This shit is fun. No, that's cool. The chain combo. Love it. I also forget how to tell which one apart. Shit's not easy, chat. Okay. Now's the time. this one for now. Oh, it's raining. That's why it's not working. Yeah, they made rain so you can't bomb arrow this shit. Okay, lightning arrows instead. It's so much harder to fight because I'm using Joy-Cons. I'm just not in my comfort zone. Of course my Pro Controller had to bust right before I did this. It's just typical. I might pull out the PS4 controller, I'm not even joking. Okay, well... This is what a death start climbing.
Alright. This is always gonna be tough. In hindsight, I should have re replaced Wing Cleaver, but you know, it is what it is. I so despise that I have to do this every time. So that's cool, it didn't count as a hit. So my stasis plays are not gonna work. That's, yeah, that's, that's fun. <sighs> Man, I'm already into second defense. This is so annoying. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that one. I'm just so out of my comfort zone in these Joy-Cons. Like, I feel like I'm being hindered. Right, I'm gonna have one more go at it, and if, I, if I'm still feeling uncomfortable, I, ha I have to get a real controller. Like, these are just not good. Man, they're just completely disabled bomb arrows. They're like, nah, nah, nah. Hordes of enemies, you're not allowed to use bomb arrows. Okay, let's be 
we're doing that right away. sucks. Oh shit, that was all that buffs as well. I just realized I didn't buff. I was kind of naked there for a while. It's okay. So that had to have been the real one. Okay, I see. So annoying. That's just fucking annoying. Stop it, leave me alone. I'm just trying to recover. Man, it's 
so hard for me to aim with this. Trying not to waste my arrows. No, I'm going in on this one. Got ya. I'm gonna run out of arrows, man. Self recover is killing me. I'm not even up to the next phase. just so handicapped here because I'm not using the controller that I'm used to. I have to use these shitty Joy-Cons because the controller just stopped working. I don't think I'm going to win this. It's just, it's a war of attrition and I'm losing it because I just can't shoot properly. The problem isn't my left hand, it's my right hand that I'm using to aim. It's, it just feels so wrong. I don't think I'm winning this. I just can't play with these controllers. Hold on. I'm gonna try one more try time with the pro controllers. Just. I can't aim properly with the Joy Cons.
I'd rather deal with the drifting than deal with the Joy-Cons. This just does not give you enough time. Motherfucker. Look at- look at this shit. Look at how little I'm doing to him. Oh my god. I need to take it. I need to take him out when he's in clone phase because that clone phase is just fucked. But in the moments that I was using the pro controller instead of the Joy Cons, whilst I'm still fighting drift, it I'm so it's just so much better. I just I felt more comfortable. The Joy Cons just feel so flimsy with the analog stick. It just doesn't feel like I can get the movements I want out of him. I wonder if ice arrows work on him. Already. Ah. 
That is such bullshit. That, that right there. I should have gotten him for more than that. Okay. There, you motherfucker. Get on. Get over here. Trying to be quick before he recovers. Got him. too much. Stasis. It's okay, just tank, tank the hit, tank the hit. Right there. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, call run. Keep tapping him. Oh shit! Fuck. I wasn't paying attention to where I was. It's like I had to reset, it'll reset in a minute. Just keep tapping. 
weapons. Okay, we're going for the 60 next. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm naked here, I'm naked. Damn it, too slow. Picking, keep picking. close enough. shipping. to do the foot thing. The foot thing is probably the best move. Okay, this is second best. It's 
not worth it. This one's not worth it. I'm gonna lose. He's gonna keep regenerating otherwise. Part where we're using stasis to win. Just ignore the little ones. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Keep, keep it, keep it cool. Move. Okay, heal again. Keep picking, keep picking, keep picking. Go. Come on, Link, get up, get up, get up. You've gotta stop the heal. start. What the fuck? Why does it keep missing? One more! Okay. Yeah, so you know, aside from the broken pro controller, see how much better that went using that instead of the Joy Cons? <laughs> I wasn't making it up. I was finding it frustrating to use the Joy Cons. I would deal I will deal with the drift going to the left. It's just I can compensate for that. Alright. You face that challenge with great courage. You have erased all doubt from my mind. You are a true hero. <laughs> As such, you were destined to take hold as ancient masterpiece. Okay. Well... I didn't think I'd get this done now, so, uh, I guess I'm moving on, huh? <laughs> oh, that was such a struggle. It's pretty much the clone phase that's the worst. Once you get past the clone phase, you just keep every few seconds, just an hour. 
Every few seconds, new hour. Every few, se few seconds, new hour. And you just slowly take them down. I was worried I was going to run out of weapons, but we're good. This is why I held on to weapons for the longest amount of time. Okay. Master Cycle Zero. That which you have obtained is a masterpiece of innovation created for the one true hero. Hero of Hyrule, may the goddess smile upon you. That was rough. Ugh, it was stressful, but I got it. Yeah. Mm. It was actually harder than last time, because the first time I did it, I had seven hearts. <laughs> this time I had three. Hmm? Ah, it's you. Mm. I can't put my feather on it, but I get the feeling you're even more accomplished than you were when we last met. I happen to have the perfect song for someone as esteemed as you. I would love to sing it for you. My teacher's unfinished song, the one I told you about. Oh. I finally completed the key verses. Mm. This lofty location is the perfect stage to sing this special song. It takes place a hundred years ago at Hyrule Castle. Yes, the very castle you can still see over yonder. It's about... The magnificent inauguration of those chosen champions. If you would, please listen to this special song. The Champion's Ballad. New memory dropped. to thank you for joining me here today and for your bravery in accepting this fateful task. I officially appoint you Hyrule's champions and bestow upon you this sacred garb. That blue is a symbol of the royal family, one that has been passed down for countless generations. Those garments you now wear were all crafted by my daughter, Zelda. Zelda, I trust you with the task only a daughter of the royal family can fulfill. Lead our champions, princess. And together, protect our kingdom from the threat of Calamity Ganon. Hey, Rajan, thanks for the raid. Raid, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Just... Oh, I had to focus so hard to get this done, man. Yeah. I tell you, those formal shindigs really take it out of me. Hmm. This is the Sheikah Slate, eh? It is. Apparently, there are more uses for it than we originally thought. Sadly, we've yet to decipher all of its secrets. The princess showed me something strange recently. Somehow it can create true-to-life images. Wow. I would love to see it. Um, princess? May I ask a special favor of you? All right. This
This spot should work nicely. Keep your eyes on the Sheikah Slate, everyone. Uh, Daruk, can you crouch down a bit? You're as big as Death Mountain. Huh? Oh. What's with the glum face, princess? Give me a big smile. Huh? <sighs> Ravali, move your tail closer to the group. Ugh, fine. Mifa, you look so tense. Deep breaths, okay? Right. Who's talking? Stay just like that. Here we go. Smile. Click snap. It's a nice picture. I just know what, what's next now. Second hardest thing done. Mm. After the ceremony, they would all forever be known as champions. My teacher always advised me to write songs that transport the listener to the moment in time you're singing of. Mm. Now I finally feel I understand what he meant. The true power of music. Mm. By the way, I found this when I was looking through my teacher's notes. I was thinking you should be the one to keep it. Your courageous heart reminds me of the indomitable spirit of the champions. I know you'll treasure it. The photo, yeah. A final thought. May the souls of the champions who watch over Hyrule rest in peace. Link. 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 What? I have watched your journey. Every step. You have overcome every challenge with great courage. With the power that you have attained, I am certain you can defeat Calamity Ganon. Yeah, not yet. True. Dirk's <sighs> protection is now ready to roll. Okay. We're going to take a small intermission chat. Gonna be two to five minutes. I need to stretch my legs. I'm going to get a drink of water. And, uh, when we return, it's time to start Trial of the Sword. <laughs> oh boy. So, we're gonna do that when I come back. But, if you're watching later on YouTube, this is where I say bye, YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah. Consider doing fun algorithm stuff if you want to support the channel. But we'll see you next time. Bye, YouTube.